Welcome back embers or if you're new here welcome to campfire crew my name is stone my pronouns are they them and today we are redoing my October update for pan that palette so the way my particular pan that palette works and by the way I do have a playlist for the entire time I've been doing this project with these two palettes um so you can check it out there, but the way we do things around here, in case you are new, is I do two palettes. One of them I have a usage goal on, and that is my Davina. It was originally a 12 pan, it is now a 9 pan, and there are four shades I'm currently trying to get 215 usage each on. And then we have my proper panning palette, where I'm trying to hit pan on every shade in this 40 pan eyeshadow palette. And we are very close, and I'm very excited to show you what this bad boy looks like. But Around here, we always start with the least exciting progress, which is this, since we are not trying to hit pan, we're just doing usage goals, it's not quite as exciting, and if you see me looking down, it's at my sticker-covered notebook. <gasps> that should be everything. Okay. <laughs> this is what this My Davina palette looks like. The four shades we are trying to use is Blazed, which I only need 10 uses on since I originally had this shade Parthenos in. And I used it five times and then hit pan on it and decided to transfer the other 10 uses to this shade. And then for 15 usage this year, I am trying to get these three shades to 15 uses. So let's start with Blazed. This month, or in October, I should say, I used Blazed once for a total this year of seven uses which means I only have three more uses left on this before the end of the year. The next shade is Patina. Patina I used twice in October for a total this year of 11 uses, meaning I only have four uses left on this. Last month, this was the shade that I needed the most uses on, and I believe that is still true. Yes, it is. So Patina, we have made some decent progress with two more uses. Majesty I used also twice in October for a total of 13 uses. So I only have two more uses on this shade, which does not surprise me. I love this really bright yellowy gold. It's so fun. Okay, let me let my cat out. And I am not surprised that I have the least amount of uses left on this shade. It's a shade I love. It's so bright and colorful. And the last shade is Nemesis, which I managed to use the most this month at three uses in October. And over the course of the year, I used it 13 times. So I am actually tied for these two shades. So I also have only two more uses in this left. So that means that we have, give me a second, and I will probably edit this part. There's grow. Hello, buddy. Okay, so that means I only have 11 more uses left to do in this palette, which means I have less than six uses. One month I'm going to have to use these shades between all of the ones left five times, and one month I'm going to have to use it six times, which I think we can blow out of the water because I've been doing a pretty consistent six or seven uses between all these shades in a month. So I'm really excited. This is definitely going to be done by the end of the year. We have two months left and we are so going to smash this goal. The next up to be talked about is my Carnival 3 Love Tahiti palette. This is what it looked like last month. And this is what it looks like this month. So let's go over all of the shades. My cat is on my bed now. Hi, buddy. So if you, bloopy little baby boy. And he's out. Okay. Okay. So my goal was to either hit two pans or use every shade at least five times, but use the black at least seven. Preferably both, but either or would work. So keep that in mind while we talk about this. The first shade we're going to talk about is Cocoa, which is the mid-tone brown. And I have used that in October three times for a total this year of 16 uses. This shade still is my problem shade. It has a bit of a dip, um, but nothing substantial. But I said this last month, I'm pretty sure I said it the month before, 
the less shades I have to use and pan in this palette, the easier it will be to pan those shades because I can hyper focus on them. So I'm worried about it, but I, I'm convinced we can do this. The next shade we have, give me a minute. There's so many shades I've already panned before this month. So the next shade we're going to talk about is Grape, which is a cool tone, deep purple, which I managed to use four times in the month of October for a total this year of seven uses. And I hit pan on this shade. We did it. I'm so excited by that progress. And honestly, four uses is perfectly fine with me. It's a good amount of uses. Um, and I didn't have to use it the five times I thought I would. So that is freaking awesome. I'm really excited about that. The next shade is two shades under, which is the shade Twilight, which is actually a very similar shade to Grape. I have it on my outer corner today. It's just a little more on the warm tone side than Grape, but it's the same depth. It's a very similar color. I will say this forever. Don't know why they're both in the palette. Too many, too many similar purples. My cat is right next to me. He's climbing on the window. Oh, he is sniffing my phone. Hi, buddy. Um, Twilight in October, I used one, two, three. I also used four times, so I didn't manage to use it that five times I wanted, but we were pretty close. And also not much of a dip in this. A bit more of a dip than Coco, but really not much of one. Um, but we can do it. It's November. November I do looks like this a lot. I use those kind of deep warm purples. This is like the only time of year where I really like deep warm tone purples. So I am sure I can use that a ton at least this month and get it done. And last but not least is Black Beach, which I did manage to use the seven times I wanted to and I hit pan. I can't believe I hit pan on the black before I hit pan on the purple, but I guess it makes sense since there's so many freaking purples in this palette. <laughs> I've panned already so many purples and I did end up doing two pan the black. I ended up doing a look where I took twilight or grape. I can't remember which, but I took one of those shades as my crease shade. And then I took the black all over my lid. Yeah. I took the black all over my lid, which, sound really intense and it's kind of intense but because I have hooded eyes it's not as intense as you would think it would be since most of the black is covered when I have my eyes like straight open anyway you can only really tell how much black there is when I close my eyes which I tend not to keep them closed for long amounts of time anyway so it's not as intense as you think it would be at least on hooded eyes but I I love that look I don't do it very often but it was a really fun look to do and it did get me to pan the pan on this one. I don't think I talked about the pan on grape. The pan on grape is small, but not tiny. The pan on black beach is a little bit smaller. So let me show you here. This is grape. So it's, you know, compared to some of the other pans, it's not huge, but it's not the tiniest little pan we have. And then Black Beach is not the tiniest, but it is quite a small pan. And then as you can see, we are almost fully panned with this palette. The only shades we have left are Cocoa, this one here, and Twilight, this one here. So that's what they look like. Let me swatch them out for you. This is what they look like. And if you haven't seen, spoiler, my Project Level Up Light Light version, I have finally finished that project two months early, which means the next two months are going to be totally dedicated to those two shades, plus the shades in here. But it is going to be totally dedicated to this project. So I'm really excited. I think we're going to make great progress. And I think I can get these two shades out. This month I'm going to be focusing on Twilight. Like I said, it's, I just naturally kind of gravitate towards it. Um, I'm going to try and use Coco, the shade, this brown here. Probably. Also, if you can hear uh, that sound, it's my cat. He 
likes to make that sound at birds. I think he's trying to lure them. I'm not sure. But whenever he's, we're on the second floor of an apartment building and there's a lot of crows around here. So whenever he sees them, he makes that noise at them. Um, yeah, so Coco, I think I'm going to try and use at least three times. And then I'm going to really focus on this shade. I think I, I would ideally like to use a couple more than three, but at least three um, would make me feel good. But then definitely hyper-focusing on Twilight to get it finished. Yeah, we have two shades left in a 40 pan palette, which is so freaking exciting and two months to do it. So, I mean, we also have some usages on this, but it's very manageable, both of those goals. I'm really excited, especially because I, like two, three months ago, I was freaking out thinking that I was not going to get this palette done. But here we are. <laughs> it's going to be a year and a half by the end of this project. I'm going to have owned both of these for four years by the time this year is done. So I'm really excited to get some uses on these and to have this. We got to We got I got to show you again. Look at this palette. It's so panned. You know, I watch all these videos on YouTube of like declutters and shop my stash and like people showing off their palettes basically. And sometimes they'll pull this palette out and they'll show it. And it's so brand new. There's like no pan in it. And it looks so unrecognizable to me because now I'm used to just seeing like shiny, shiny pans everywhere, almost everywhere, minus, you know, these couple these couple babies but soon soon this will be fully panned and I'm so freaking excited about it okay if you enjoyed this video like the video if you're not already and you're interested please subscribe uh let me know if you're doing projects like this and also since it's the end of the year I want to know what are you guys planning on doing for projects next year I have a video that's probably gonna be out before this one talking about what I want to do for projects and I'm just really excited for the end of the year, for the start of the new year. It's a good time in the Vanning community to be around. It's just so much fun. The last two months and the first month, November, December, and January are so much fun, I find, in the Vanning community. Um, I just have a lot of fun. So if you would like to enjoy the painting content with me, please feel free, again, to like and subscribe and check out some of my other content. Otherwise... And I will see you. and I will see you guys later. Bye.